take us away on Mirage. We absolutely will. This is about to kick off. <clears throat> and I am, of course, joined by Mr. Ryan Flaky Flakes Oliver. Flakes, what are your thoughts on this one? I am um, sitting in a corner right now, I'm just kind of quivering at the thought of MK having to play Space Soldiers on Mirage, because Space Soldiers are an extremely dominant team on this map. It's one of their best maps. This is not just their third or, or fourth, this is by far probably one of their best. First and second. Major got to start strong. Finds herself one, eventually is going to get punished by Spider, but it's not Terrors. He's in position to keep the train tapping as he finds another return shot. The ride on towards Shimada, then another on towards Spider. The DJ Cali clearly in the house. It's Calix. Gonna put the nail in the coffin on towards Corsa. Dreamer with the last man standing. Show us what we've got. Glock in hand. One versus four. Gonna fight a frag. But is that gonna be all? Looking like an impossible situation for the man. But if you have a dream, then you can dream. Dreamer, the last man alive. Glock in hand. That's all he has to play with, really. Uh, he has no bomb. He has no control. I have no idea where he's coming from, which is only element of surprise. How they do. Antara spots him out. Backs off, gets ready for the kill. The dreamer will go down very, very quickly. Like you were saying, this is a great map for the Space Soldiers. They should have no problem with this. And despite MK having a great showing on that last map, 16-13, so close. This isn't going to go the same, in my opinion. Certainly is going to be an exciting one, but for now... Let's see what's going to happen. Space Soldiers, they started off strong. We saw some great pistol play from them. But that is just foreplay that we put. It's just one round. Now they look to follow up with a second as well. They've got the rifles. They've got the SMGs. It's a nice, healthy mix of firepower in comparison to MK. Just pistols. Tech 9s. A couple of Deagles here and there. A nice little CZ for Shimada and Spider. They do have the Kevlar, most importantly, though, which really kind of dictates how they're going to be approaching this round. This isn't just a, oh yeah, we're going to plant the bomb and then be happy. No, this is a, we want to win. We are competing. We're not holding back. Major, rough idea. One player is going to be up towards Palace, but that is about it. Meanwhile, MK start to bulk up their forces to hit towards this B site. Yeah, it's not going to be an easy take. There's two players from Space Soldiers watching. And that little bit of presence over towards the A bomb site has retreated. May even go to help in mid. Not going to happen. This is just going to be a quick B rush. Now, what they're hoping is if they slow it down, may prompt a rotation. Maybe a bit of doubt from Space Soldiers, but still, two players. Are watching the jump spot coming in from Calix to make sure there's no one around in the apps. Be a little bit of aggression from Spivey there. He's been shut down. And still no rotation. Paz is heading towards mid. He's going to find MKL there. So it's the perfect rotate uh, for this attack. The Molotov goes down. And so the timing doesn't work out for MK. Next Molotov will fall. And with 35 seconds remaining, this rules this round out. Although there's three players going into this bomb site, they have so little time, they have no choice but to run straight in and try and get this win. Calix is in the perfect position. Holt gets one, looking for the next two. He's able to find them and instantly, but he will. Finds the second and pass, closes out onto Dreamer. And that is a very quick way to shut down a round. Those Molotovs are perfect. They slow down the push just enough to make it panic for MK, and it doesn't work out. Space Soldier's definitive round. That's what it's all about at the end of the day, right? You know, put MK in a situation where they feel like they're in Paradise City and smack them home, ruin their dreams. Oh, and crush them, to be blunt about things. Two to zero now. They're back on pistols. Things are looking not necessarily like a solid start for them, but the buy round is really what we're dead set to see. Engine, immediate future, back in the server now. Finishing up his FPL, I believe. Goes for a bit of a cheeky spray damage. Wait to that there and down again in crossfire. They are just going to go for a bit of a cheeky shoot almost as they all will fall one by one by one. Massive little player there from Zantaris, just cleaning up. He's six for zero right now. And straight off the bat, MK are, they're struggling. They're really struggling in this one. Only two kills to their whole name. Four rounds in, getting a bit dangerous now. Although they are onto the bike. No orbs on either side. And there are still UMPs, FAMASes to play with for Space Soldiers. So that could give somewhat of an advantage over to the MK boys, but they have to put those AKs to work, and with limited utility, this is going to be difficult, there's only two smokes to play with, the spy leader going to have his work cut out for him, figuring out what to do on this round, mid control, right off the bat, and it's effective mid control as well, these nades raining in, just putting doubt in the minds of MK, and it's Zantaris to open up, claiming his seventh kill of the game so far. Completely flawless. He's going to get tagged up, but have to fall back. Major holding over towards the has opening up. Takes down MKL, looking for more as well. 
Bishemta forced back out of position. Major holding it up close position. Looking onto Corsa. Takes him straight out of the server. And this is absolutely terrible for MK. They have been wiped out of this round completely. With not even a single kill to their name. If Kalex finds this last kill, T-Mace is in. And it's looking like he's in the perfect position to do just that. As Dreamer works his way onto that B bomb site. It's Kalex who has to hold. But even if he can't, this round is still over and done with as Kalex prepares to take himself the team ace the kill comes in team ace on the board for space soldiers and absolutely devastating for MK the problem there is it's the first time they've been on equal footing with their opposition and they get just completely wiped aside space soldiers they ran all of the calculations in terms of what they thought MK would do and they set up absolutely perfectly just look at the position that was held over towards ramp Harold, who checks that? Nine times out of ten, most people will not check that plant pot angle. And it completely violates them now. Back to the pistols. Back to the disappointment that can be a quick pistol run. Nine times out of ten, you will lead to a complete and utter bloodbath. Major going to find himself not only one, but goes in for a second. Now he's looking for a third. Ah, he's going to drop ah. to his arms. Spilido is going to combine with Dreamer to find just a little bit more. And, well, keep the bomb plant Dreamer alive at that. But, come on. The round win still going to be the realm of possibility. I think it's kind of one I want to run towards now as an aid is going to land right at the feet of NKL. 9 HP is all that he shall have. But the flash is going to land on stairs. A greeting for engine saying, you know what? Welcome to the server, my friend. And he's yet to find the frag. Molotov to go towards Shadow. And he's clearing that out. NKL needs to go huge here towards stairs. Can't allow him to see. But he burns away in the flames. A nice trade for the CT side. Bell smoke going to give Dreamer an opportunity up in Palace. He can just watch this bomb plant spot. Teammates all around. Kalix looking for the kill onto Spy Leader. With the smoke. He will find the kill in the end, but Dreamer is still alive. And they're watching the wrong. Oh, finally they turn around, but it's not in time. Dreamer, 2K comes through and they win the round. Pistols only, like you said. But with two instant entry kills, they find this round. Despite massive play from Major finding two kills to open this one up. It's going to be MK getting themselves onto the board. And now they can get the full buy-in. All grenades, everything they need. A very nice round. Dreamer being the cement that really solidifies that round for them. So huge play from him. Repetition is now going to be something they have to try and really praise as a virtue. As they set themselves up to go again towards the safe site. It benefits on these pistols. Now they have rifles. Major. We're just going to get looked at set in the eyes by Corsa. And finds himself that battle. Zamperas is going to do a little bit more in terms of trade. MK have found themselves at least one pick in progress, and they've gained themselves a lot of traction on this site. The space soldiers, they're not just going to give it up. The nades are going to land. Engine, they're ready to push through. He's got slow, so much utility landing at his feet, but he's still jumping around the place with us all. Still seeing, okay, what gap can I play with? What shot can I go for? Putting that utility out, getting ready. Back onto the bomb site is space soldier Santaris from behind, finding spy leader. It's a great opening pick, leaves it now in a four versus two. A little bit exposed to both players, but Dreamer opens up. Shemta follows, and now it's a one versus two. How on earth did this happen? It's all on Alex. One man and a gun, and he can't do it. MK, two versus four. That is insane. They hold down that site, and they win themselves around. And Shemta and Dreamer need to pat themselves on the back. Mostly, of course, Dreamer with a 3k. That is insane stuff. And somehow, MK win that round. Four versus two on the retake. That is a crazy round for MK, but they put it in the bank, they move on. Still the buy coming out from Space Soldiers. This time, however, it is going to be two AWPs coming out. A double up setup being employed by the Turkish side. Interested to see how that is going to work out for the Kalix. Looking for an early on battle. There's a T side that faced directly into him, finds himself one. Is he going to re-peak for a second though? That's what I want to know. It's a bit of a strafe, but decides to fall back on towards the site. He's going to get pushed very, very aggressively by the MK side. They want to shut down distance. And I like this approach, but they have to go quicker. The rotates are already in at this point. Kalex is ready and waiting for Dreamer to present himself right there. And then I'll still flatter everything all foiling in place now for Paz. As he's up towards short spot, set up by a bench, gets that pick easy as anything. Corsa, the last man to have any impact on the side at all. Zen Kalil is going to fall towards short. There's nothing he can do. Paz is going to do so much for short. The old cementing that round yet again. Zanperas, the last man to pick up a frag for the CT side. Yeah, crazy strong round coming into this. Of course, Kalex opens it up, finds that first kill, then spots two more players, calls him for the rotate. That's it, game over. There's nothing MK can do at that point unless Dreamer again goes ham. But it's not happening this time. Seven kills on the board so far for the man, but he can't continue it. Dantares, on the other hand, currently a 5k DR, having a pretty nice day. <clears throat> the sun is shining at his feet. 
He's a happy boy. And again, this time going a little bit aggressive. Trying to find that opening ball. It's going to be major again. Oh, the on that eight. Eight. This shot he goes in. One, two. Why is he still peeking that? He makes it work. That's why Kylie can get shot down. But Zantaris is in for support. Finds himself another one. Maybe two versus two. But they have to be careful. As this bomb site could be taken. Zantaris gets taken down. And Dreamer's looking for more. And he finds it again. Dreamer, 3k. It's all on Paz. One versus two. And Dreamer's still alive. So he has to be... Very, very cautious. He is coming in. They have to be careful that he's not going to come from behind. He did take that early mid control. He peeks over. He's spotted now. He's trying to kill. Take down in Kale. Why are you peeking with the bomb in your hands? As so close. He's got Dreamer down to 28. Oh, but he finds the headshot. Dreamer goes down. And that is such a huge play from Paz. 6-2. to two, And Dreamer is doing everything he can. But it's just not enough. Why are they going for the solo peak? The minute he swings out wide towards stairs with a bomb on his back. Insanity. He could have just stayed on the site. He could have just got that bomb down and they could have played it two versus one. But instead they go aggressive. Red flashes within their eyes. They're hungry. The bloodhound's looking for a quick frag. And it's not good. If anything, it's a crumbling storyline. As now, it is just pistols. But there's no careful how to back it up. There's no utility. Apparently, Dreamer is still going to continue to find some fix. But no matter the hilarity... No matter how exciting it may be to see Dreamer doing work, you're so right with what you made. Dreamer is not quite enough, it seems. It's 6 to 2. Swiftly going to be converted back on its head yet again to a 7 to 2 scoreline. Yeah, I'm talking 16 10, 16 13. This is um, not looking yeah. close on the CT side of Space Soldiers. Yeah, I think it's fair to be dubious of that kind of a result coming in when Santares and Paz are having such impactful games. Paz over on that A bomb, uh, that B bomb site even, playing towards mid. He's just closing it down round after round after round, making sure no one can go short. I don't think a single player has made it up short so far this game. Paz is holding his angles, and here comes the push over towards B apps. This will clear out any discussion that it could be B. The rotate goes over towards A, and round over again. Every single play that they're making on that Space Soldier side is game winning. And it's going so, so well for them. Five AKs on the board for Mortal Kombat as they prepare to push onto this A bomb site. And really, this is their last buy before they have to eco. Because Space Soldiers are playing a game and a half. MK fighting to neutralize their opposition quickly, hard and fast. All leads back to the fateful say to slaying that dragon. That's what this matchup is to me, MK. Looking to put on one hell of a show. Spider picking up a double kill. What a way to start off the round on this T side. Kalex though gonna be over. Bushnaldo finds himself a double in return. Engine on the AWP. Kalex still going, still making it work. Corsa will fall in the process. Dreamer is gonna find one of his own. Plucks one out of midair, but he's in a one versus two. He's stuck up in Palace. A flash is gonna go out. A smoke is there to just almost shroud him out of play. He keeps on jumping. He keeps on moving. But Engine is in play. He's on this server and he's here to stay. Yeah, another great round from Space Soldiers. That was a really nice play from Spyley to coming up through mid. They had absolutely no idea he was there. And so he takes himself a great 2k. Kalex, what a massive impact he has on that round with that 3k. That final kill he finds is... There's no way he should be allowed that one. Dreamer does take him down in the end. 8-2 <clears throat> to now. Mortal Kombat are having serious trouble. And three players on this B-bomb site. What a perfect read coming in from Space Soldiers. They're going to hear the players rushing. There's already three players here. What do you do? Kalix down in this position. But there's still two more players to defend. It's Engine and Paz on the bomb site. The bomb will be placed. But it should be a pretty easy cleanup. They will finalize kill bet. Zantara is in for the trade. And three versus three retake. The weapon advantage firmly established by the Space Soldiers. They've only just managed to pick up the gun. Kalex is playing with Zantaris. Another headshot comes in. Looking for more. Going to tag his teammate just to keep him on uh, on his toes. Corsa has to be careful. He's uh, he's lost the M4. Don't know what happened to it. Dreamer now coming in to try and get a kill. He will find one, but his teammate's gone down. It's Zantaris. One versus one, and he can't make it happen. Dreamer again. Every single round, this man has an effect. Every round, he's fragging. He's hitting. He's punching. And Space Soldiers can't win that one. This man is going absolutely insane. 15 for 8 right now. The closest man on his team is 5 kills. Such a big disparity in play right now between Dreamer and the rest of his team. He's got a chain tied around his waist and behind him is a huge rock. That's the lineup. I don't want to hate on these guys. They're all solid players, but right now, the only man getting them round on the board. This 8-3 scoreline is him with these huge plays, with his tech nines, with his rifles.
major aggression over towards Ramp. He's there looking at the dragon towards Spider, converting the storyline yet again as it is all falling into place. Baseball just wrecking MK in a game of chess as they move around the map. They seclude off any portion and they stop map control being gained in favor of MK. The only thing they have been kind of given now is mid. But that favors the CP side still as the smoke is going to go down, but they're set up for the streamer. Oh, and a spray battle against Major is going to win it though. Converts it to a three versus three. Base soldiers, they lost mid. They took B. Absolutely. And now has to find a kill and Zantara is not the right way. He's going to go down for it as the AK will spray down. Now Alex has to go large, finds himself one. He's going to find and kill, but not quite getting the kill. It's all now falling to pass. He's in the right position at the right time. Again and again, he finds the clutch. 2K comes in. Man, Paz is having a game. Every single player that can pop off is going off right now. This is a battle. The Space Soldiers are coming out firmly on top. The clutches that are coming in is insane this game. With Space Soldiers at 9 3, you wouldn't think so. 17 kills for Zantares, 12 for Paz. 10 for Kalix, there's no one that's not playing well, apart from over on NK. It's a tough one, really, it has to be said, and it comes back to the, the same old reality where all the cheering, all the hype, can kind of just drown out the noise. That 9-3, to three, it's just aggression. Yet again, clear cut oh. the CT side. Look at them push, look at them feel like the map is theirs. Okay, they don't feel like they own a percentage at this point. Space Soldiers running Riot Engine. Pushes ramp, gets a double kill, turns back around, gets a kill from Palace, leaving just one man on site that eventually will take him down. The Spider, he can't put up so much. He's only got a pistol in play there. He's in a one versus four. You're asking so much from just one man in that scenario, and that's kind of what's haunted them this entire matchup. It's constantly leaning on one or two players to do the work. They're never in a situation where the entire team is alive. They're never in a situation that's four versus four or, or three versus three, because when they are, Someone from Space Order steps up and says, Oh, yeah, is that a double kill? Oh, yeah, can I get a side order with a single kill as well? As they just completely annihilate them. Loving the fast food reference. Because fast food is good food. And Kale, gonna be absolutely decimated. Over in middle, his head comes clean off his body. And he's gonna be walking away a little bit sad. Lee. gonna be dropping in just one time, Major. A little bit of uh, aim punch there. I'm not sure if he had head armor on. But he's going to get taken down by Shemta, leaving him a 3 versus 4. Still advantage firmly in the hands of the Space Souls. But Spy Leader comes in with one. For the next one to Kalix, but it's not going to pay off for him as Shemta now pushes into the site. He's recovered himself an M4 off the body of Major. Now trying to get into this bomb site. Of course, Dreamer is still alive, so don't count out MK just yet. Because they can still do damage. Especially with Zantara's low playing from under. Now he's just one bullet and he's a dead man. Dream up, working his way out onto the balcony, trying to find himself an opportunity. Got cover. This is what's going on as Dreamer comes out to try and help his teammate. He gets shut down. Zantaris closes it out with the UMP in hand and only 12 HP. And there is no way MK can win this map. I just... They can't do it. That's it. Seems like they're standing up against Mount Everest right now, looking to see, okay, well, how can we climb this? How can we tackle... This gigantic obstacle stands itself right in front of us. They are positioned at 11 to 3 score, and it's it's so heartbreaking to witness it go down this way. At the end of the day, it is what it is. The frags are all leaning up at one direction. The space soldiers will look to cement themselves this half. Engine going to be there to bear down. On mid flicks with the orb. Doesn't quite find the head, but looks to go in even further now. Continues his advances. Paz going to be there with the M4 to hold the spire. As they just mow them down. Pass a double kill aided. There is a, both of those frags. Corsa is going to find one with a tech nine, but he should be traded from short relatively soon. Dreamer, though, actually making this one seem possible, but there's engine from short. The frag towards Shimada relocates back in towards window. Going to get himself another pick potentially as well on towards Corsa. He slides away, recedes back to spawn, buys himself a little more time. The two versus three. Never that stuff is impossible, especially now the Dreamer is popping off on site. The space soldiers still have cards to play. Don't forget, they have to get that bomb onto the site first. Oh, that was a nice peek. Engin missing his shot. The nade will rain onto his position. Just about misses him, so the bomb will be going down. Pass is low, so still going to be a duel. There is a little bit of utility. Two smokes to play with both kits on the space soldier side. And, of course, last round of the half. They have to go for this one. There's no choice in the matter. 
Dreamer is still alive. They have to be careful. That's always going to be the factor. They have to think, okay, we we can't face off against this guy. Coruscant gets oh. spotted out and oh. taken oh. Oh. Again, going to take him down. Down to the Dreamer, but he's been spotted. He's on no HP. One health remains. He tries to lane himself. This is two HP little players. Low Paz drops off the bomb. The spray comes in. Dreamer, can he find it? No, he can't. Dreamer, the oh, there it is. He finds it at 11-4 on the board. Somehow, Dreamer finds a 1 HP clutch and 4 kills in the round. It's insane. 20 to 11 when they've only won 4 rounds, but it's not enough. 11 to 4. And MK, they're trying so hard, but it isn't paying off. This match is getting us so excited. You look at the scoreline, it doesn't look like you know, that would be the case. It looks like a standard you know, schoolyard stomp almost. But in reality, there are rounds where we're seeing players like Dreamer, Spider starting to step up as well, who are putting on a show. I just want to talk about, you know, MK Scoreboard for a second. Dreamer, 20 to 11. The nearest player still 7 to 15. That being Spider, as previously mentioned. Gotta be said, they still want a match. We've had some huge flare moments. Engine with a shot like that, you know, almost feels like a standard wall bank hit nowadays. But it's still huge to see him deliver at moments like that. Dreamer as well with a nice little clutch right through the smoke. You couldn't ask for anything better. But for now, it's the T-side building up towards mid. Shimata channeling is in a one-tap, looking for something, but he gets go straight to the head by a Glock in hand. Not quite the start he was searching for. Zampara is barreling down short. Two one. Is up, looking for another one towards Dreamer. Enkil is going to help him by tapping on towards his teammate. As engine reloads to the USB, continues his advances. Lance on towards his opposition. As Corsa now left in two versus five. Quickly turns it at least to a two versus four. With the crossfires being held, this is looking all but done an engine again. What well, seems like a wall bang. And we're straight through the cardboard boxes as Kallax in from behind. Yeah, very clean cut round from Space Soldiers. And now I can't see a way back in for MK. This is it. They fought gallantly. Well, at least Dreamer has. But um, not a single player other than Dreamer above 10 kills. If you look at that scoreboard, Coruscant, three. L four, Shemta, five. It's dire. And it's not looking to get any better just yet. Corsa, back down to 25 HP. With a scout in a hand, that's dangerous. It takes one shot to kill him. The rest of the team playing up close and personal, but uh, just a little too much to ask. Continue as work his way forward. Shemta goes straight down out of the server as Major finds himself one onto Spy Leader. He knows he's being chased. He's not quite in time, and so it will be a frag coming in for NKL. Still three versus four, and the bomb has been planted, or it will be, on that B bomb site. Dreamer playing in the window room, ladder room. Can't call it what I normally call it, because apparently that's not very PC. Four versus three. I don't think they should really be looking to go for this retake. They've got armor. Keep the weapons. If you can find an exit, happy days. If not, don't even bother trying. Great round for Space Soldiers. The bomb is going to keep on ticking. And that same old fateful resolution. Going to almost certainly arrive. And kill. Going to be hunted down. His corpse completely discarded. And Terra's mauls him to pieces. This scoreline is looking disastrous. 13 to 4. Alists, where are you at now? Space Soldiers on by far their strongest map. MK, non-existent. Yeah. I, I think non-existent is an understatement. They are lacking in a lot at the moment. And it cannot be understated the impact Dreamer has had on this game. They wouldn't have four rounds if Dreamer wasn't playing. Simple as that. They just wouldn't have four rounds. He's been playing off his mind, but... Sometimes it really just isn't enough. Torres wants this A-bomb site for himself. He's really working in. Finds the first kill. Finds the second kill. Finds the third kill. <laughs> Is there any stopping this man? Finally, Dreamer comes in and takes him down with a headshot, but it's a two versus four. And 14 rounds. Penultimate match point. Going to be on the board. Major taken down and Kale with the body shots. And Dreamer, the last man alive, with the same CZ he saved from the last round. Going to be holding on to that one, trying to get himself a kill. He can't quite recover the weapons Antares dropped. Not really sure why he can't, but he can't. Uh, I think if he can hold on to this armor, happy days. 
There's really not much he can do here. Dreamer will be holding the out. Wolf has not going to be able to get the kill. Luckily, Alex is in position to find it. Going to be 14-4 and no economy problems for space soldiers. No fragging problems. Just in general, no problems. And Zantara is 26 and 8. 26 and 8. That's a 2.24 KDR, Mr. Flake. For sure. Impressive stuff. It's the hall that can really spring us to mind. Asking the question of the space hall is going to end this nice and quickly now. That clock is going to wind on down. Early days in this round, at least, but the Turkish side looking like they're going to get themselves set up. With a good old fancy execute on towards A with some pressure in towards underpass. A couple of flashes here and there will find ourselves acutely delivered onto the site, but nonetheless, it is going to be engine across and lead the charge. Spider tries to go for a bit of a fight towards connecting. He's going to get himself a double kill. NPL just another though, and MK looking like they're going to fight this one. They've appeared out of nowhere out of thin air. Also, going to be the last man to find himself a frag on towards Kallax. MK. That's a round. First round in a while, but it's a round. Absolutely. It's, at the end of the day, you can't complain about taking rounds. No. They've found themselves a round. That's 14 5. Spy leader with a nice play takes two frags over towards the stairs. But, like I said, no money problems for space soldiers. They can buy again. And so looking to take that out, they will be. So opens up nicely with a double kill. Kalex will finally get back in onto Spy Leader, but still, it's advantage firmly in the hands of MK. Especially with the HP so low on Kalex and Major. So Shemta, with that smoke, with that nade, he has held off the B-bomb site. So those remaining three Space Soldiers players have to come in and do the work. Is this a choke that I'm feeling, Mr. Flake? Um, I think it's a bit early to say. Just a tap. Well, I'm not going to disagree with you, good sir. Dreamer holding towards short. M4A1S in hand. Hoping no one's going to come too fast, because if they do, he will take their heads off. Decapitation is his middle name. It is actually, but um, it is. It's quite a cool middle name. Mid control, obviously, a key here. Oh. Space soldiers, they want to get into that A bomb site for free. Only for them, there are still two players over there. Utility comes out and our dreamer should be given the call for what's going on. Mage is going to be holding somewhat further back in mid. And it looks like they may be going over towards the B-bomb site. Or not. Going up into another room. Planet Clever Corsa, the first man to go down. Now Dreamer, he's ready to claim this round for his own as Major will rear his head. Dreamer comes in. Tap, tap, tap. He's going to find the kill. Good stuff so far. Paz and Kallax. They begin to enter the way out on towards the site. Still, Dreamer in the play. NKL, though, going to find himself only one in the progress as Paz is more than happy to apply a bit of pressure in return. But five seconds practically coming on the clock. He needs to go for this plant now. All or nothing. He's going to go down. He goes to the 180 spray. Gets it onto a streamer. Paz, he's done a one plus one out of thin air. He's looking like he wants to make this one work. Goes for the headshot on towards Shimada. Not going to land first time around, but he gets a second chance. It will land. Paz will clutch up this round for a team. A quadruple kill for him in this round. Huge performance. 15-5 is a scoreline. Back once again for the Renegade Master. What a round coming in from Paz. And once again, he clutches. That man should be called Mr. Clutch. Like uh, Mr. Clean, but without the clean and with more clutch, because he is clutching rounds left, right, and middle. Even and Kale alone on the A bomb site is a dangerous move. Luckily, Spy Leader will head back over to try and help him out. This could be the end of all days. Nice kill coming in from Dreamer. Does take down Major over towards middle. The push on A somewhat weakened as there will be no split element. It'll just be Palace and Ramp. Get spotted out and Kale trying to find this frag. He will. Free frag for him. Zantaris will come back in. Straight it back out. Picks up himself an AK-47 as well. Alex and Zantaris ah. working together. But it's also Zantaris. He's been fragged up. He's been fragged up. And MK get themselves back in. Six rounds. Keeping it alive has to be said. Look at the economy of space soldiers. They can't afford to do anything at all. In the immediate future. 
So a very odd predicament starts to take hold now. We've seen a one-for-one one affair go backwards and forwards. The table's starting to swing. But the question is who in favor of? Is it you know, really in either of these teams right now? MK, yes, they have the, the economic control. They're on the right here, but... Space holders, they're a team who have been able to in the past, both in this matchup and against other teams, still pull out these rounds with just these pistols and such. We just saw a 4K from Paz, for example. So I don't know just yet. Xanterra is, is going to be able to keep an eye on up towards Palace. Pretty much every single player now has to bring their A game. Nice kills coming in. It's finally the man dream. All coming together. Oh. I'm Frag. Then KL will find one back in return. But Kalix, one, two. Can he find any more through bloody smokes? All he does is kill people. It's now Kalix and Zantares, the tag team duo. The Frag Kings on this team. Zantares peeking out will get taken down. It's all on Kalix. One versus three. He has to ace to win this. If he can. It is insane. Nate goes in on his position. He's got 12 HP. No point one is in. Dreamer takes him down. So seven rounds on board for MK. Who knows? Maybe they can come back into this force in overtime. It's going to be difficult. But, uh, I mean, they showed us last game that they are very strong. So, Flakes, this could still be on for the MK boys. They've got a great buyout. Four M4s and an AWP in hand for Corsar. Only pistols to play with for the soldiers of space, so this should be a free round. It should be 15 8 on the board. But should be, could be, would be. 15 8 is a vastly different score than the hats. We're going to start to eat our words. We kind of knocked on the analyst a fair bit. 16 8, 16 10. Double digits. Looking like it's going to happen, but what am I watching with these Peter 50? How are they? How are they able to make this one work? This is madness. It's a three versus two. Unarmored pistols, unarmored P250s, apparently beating out the rifles of MK just while we talk in a round that felt like it should be brushed aside in standard CS. Is now even going to let this T side a bomb plant. Look at the position being held from Shimado. If Space Orders continue their push from apartments, he might not be able to deny this at all. Looks like he is just within the nick of time. Going to revert himself back on towards his site, though. We have three players charging in his direction. Zantara's going to be lurking in the distance. Picks up an AWP, which is the perfect weapon when you don't have any Kevlar. It's much better than a rifle. All about that one shot, one kill life. Marta lurking in towards market. You can always feel the nerves trickling into play now for the MK side. NKL pushing him through ramp. Has the information that it's not going to be a hit towards A, which means Shimada knows that his work is cut out to him towards B. Meaning NKL just wants to push as fast as he can, as quick as he can. But Paz, he's looking for something with the deagle. And if he lurks right on behind, this could be disastrous. Look at NKL right behind him, finds one, looks for the second. Engine can't quite turn around. Now he has to sprint a Molotov to force them into place. Paz, okay, move on, mate. Live deagle in hand, he's got two health. I don't see this one happening. He's going to get shut down as NKL finds the frag. Dope. Another round on the board. The NK boys. They're not quite done. But this could be over quite soon. And Space Soldiers full bite comes out. Of course, you have to remember that last round was pistols only. They had nothing to play with but pistols. And they still find themselves three kills and almost a bomb plant. This is looking like a much slower round coming out from the Space Soldiers. Find a pick. Work with it. And then try and get into site. It worked out so far. Is it going to work again? Is the question. Eight rounds to be given up so far this game. Four of which have been on their T side. Is Ola to the opposite side. DT. Zantares does get taken down by Dreamer. That's a good start in for MK if they want to continue this comeback. Major lit to 30 health. But it's looking like an A play coming in. And so the rotates will have to come through. Already three players ready to respond over on that A. Bomb site as the push now edges its way forward. First man to defend is going to be NKL with a little bit of help from Spy Leader who is watching the connector. Four players running towards you. You do need to get those frags off quickly. And it's going to be past the opening man. One, two. Can he find any more? Not going to be any peaks coming out just yet as Corsa finally comes in with the AWP. He really shouldn't be pushing this far. He needs to wait for his team to come on. Got Dreamer and Shemta running over as fast as they possibly can, but already the bomb's been planted. There's flashes left to play with for Space Soldiers, and this is looking like a difficult retake. Three versus four. The man advantage 
has decimated, well, defended. And this retake is going to be tough, but it is coming in. Dreamer, one onto Major. Paz goes down as well as Shem to find him. So two versus three now, and actually a little bit more doable, unfortunately. Little utility in the way of Molotovs to block out those positions. Engine going to be Dreamer, you see engines? He's gone. Dead. He's dead. He's a dead man. It's all on Kalix. You I see, was so like nervous that. for a second yeah. there. Yeah, it's, it's was... mistakes like that, but not going to happen. MK, they cover the bases. That could have been so different, though. Just imagine that. If he doesn't get that kill because he just doesn't see him for some, for some unknown reason, and he goes off huge, imagine how devastating that would be. I know that's yeah. all hindsight and you know almost imagination now at this point, but nonetheless, just, just picture that for a second. I don't really want to, to be honest. Like That kind of makes me, you know, queasy. Plays like that make my day. Corsa looking to find himself on opening pick, and he's going to do just that. Takes down Tantaras. They're stuck on the cusp of closing this one out. 15 9. But apparently, they can't quite cross that final hurdle. MK starting to apply antidote now to the disease. Turkish side just holding them in place. Green and NKL. So far, so good. Getting themselves a few picks here and there. Inchin and Kalix. The last two remaining. Quick as anything. Not too much they can do here. If they can get a few frags, maybe reduce the economy of MK. Of course, they still haven't got much money, so if they can get a few frags, just loosen up that grip on the game, be enough. But uh, really, there's not much that can be done here. There's no round wing coming in. And so Kalex and McGinn just have to wait out. Dream up from B. Does need to rotate at some point, but problem. Kalex will find himself a kill and some nickel. But Spiley is straight back in. Engin goes down. It's all on Kalex. One versus four. He's been shut down. And so 15-10. Flakes, this is getting close now. Too close for comfort. And it's it's ridiculous to, to be setting at 15-10. I don't understand what went wrong. And now I'm gonna be, I want to go back to a round that you said, is it a choke? And I said, no, I just missed you. I said, it's too soon. This, however, this is verified. It is a choke right now. Space soldiers, just close it out already. Could have been over Madness. Quite a while ago. Set nines across the board, though. So it could be could be better for the space soldiers. They are just going to charge their way over towards that B-bomb. So it goes in. Dissuades them somewhat. But they still want it. They're still ready to take this fight as the smokes will go down. Not too much to play with. Paz, Major, and again, all going to be wielding smokes. There is only one player over to defend. There is a man on short as well. As Dreamer rotates his way in. M4A. And we know he's strong with it. Dreamer will open this one up. Takes down. Zantares, and that's a good kill. A little bit quiet slide at points and again. Look at the good shot down. Force Bart takes down Paz. And this is exactly what we were expecting. It's only Tech Nines, but Kalex will come in with a 2k. Major comes in with one. Now Kalex, Kalex is in a one versus one. How has this happened? Now in a one versus one versus NKL. He's got himself a 3k with nothing but a Tech 9 and armor. And 59 seconds to play with. He's got all the time in the world. He's got the angle shot down. What? What's Kalex. just happened? You absolute beast. A quadra kill for him in that round. I was I was looking there. I was beginning to get quite concerned. Because the T side, those two players on site, they weren't quite dying. And the CT side, the HP was getting lower and lower as seconds went on by. But apparently, they just couldn't quite kill them. Either way, that is that done and dusted. 16-10. Alice, perhaps you're right after all. I have no idea how we got there. But either way, we are going to be heading to a short break. And speaking to the analysts right after that.